Tennis anyone? Good evening, I'm Dan Hogan and this is Centel Spotlight. Tonight we're on the scene at the downtown Winter Haven Tennis Courts for the first annual Easter Seals Tennis Class. Right now we're talking with Debbie Nito and Jan Trask, co-chairman of this event. And I'll ask Debbie first of all how this whole thing came about. Well, back in January we had to come up with some sort of a fundraising event to benefit the Easter Seals, mm -hmm. and Jan thought of the idea of having a tennis tournament. So that's the roots of this project, and from there we worked busily for two months putting on this tennis tournament, and it's, it's been a pleasure doing it. We enjoyed ourselves. And Jan, I imagine you've put in a lot of hours. How many hours have you put in on this event? Probably more hours than we'll actually earn in <laughs> charity for Easter Seals. <laughs> I did want to point out that Century 21 for the last five years has been the largest corporate sponsor of events for Easter Seals. They've been the largest givers of um, donations to Easter Seals. And when you see a little girl walk across the stage, you know, maybe three or four years of age, and walk for the very first time with apparatuses on her arms and legs, you just, you know, you, you can't understand the feeling that we get because you have goosebumps up and down your arm and tears rolling down your face because this, this little girl's walk is made possible because of the donations to the Easter Seals campaign. I know the tournament is not yet over, but can you give me some idea of how many people are participating in it and how much money you expect to raise? We have uh, 24 teams participating, and we haven't really thought about that because we do have food sales and, um, and T-shirt sales and the fact that they've paid entry fees, but we also had to pay the cost of the trophies and the T-shirts that we gave away today. And what was involved in someone becoming an entrant here today? All they had to do was sign up, pay a $20 tax deductible per team entry fee, and that was it. We didn't even care if they knew how to play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> if someone wants to buy a t-shirt, who do they contact? Well, you just walk right over to the food stand and they can purchase a t-shirt for $4. After the event's over, is there a phone number where they might be able to buy one after the event? Uh, if we had sold out. <laughs> yes, we hope they're going to be gone. But if anybody would like to have a T-shirt, the number to call would be 299-2151, or they might even call the city tennis course, which is 293-8434. Fine folks, Debbie Nito to my left and Paul Cooley to my right are wearing something on their heads. I'm going to ask Debbie what it is. Well, this is a wonderful visor given to us by First Federal Savings and Loan of Winter Haven. And also, I'd like to mention that 23 other local merchants and banking institutions gave us little donations to put in our goodie bag, which we fixed up and gave to each one of the players and entered our tennis tournament. So I'd like to say a big thank you to the folks in Winter Haven because they really provided a lot of support for us. Okay, thank you, Debbie. And right now, this is Paul Cooley, and you're one of the participants. Yes, and are you in a particular age group here today? No, sir. Everybody's playing in the same group. It's all one division of mixed. How, how'd you do? Well, we won our first match. Well, that's great. Yes, and how many matches were there for you? Um, we don't, I think there'll be four if we keep winning, uh -huh. and that would put us in the finals. And how old are you? I'm 20. And how long have you been playing tennis? About 10 years. Got your own racket and everything? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'm curious if you have a particular coach that helps you with the game? No, I used to um, more or less teach myself, but now I'm not really playing too much when I, since I went off to college. So well, I think with that in mind, uh, congratulations are in order for winning your match here today. Thank you. While the tennis tournament was going on in Winter Haven, a rummage sale was in progress in downtown Auburndale to also help raise funds for Easter Seals. And we talked with the organizer of the event, Janice Williams. Everything that we have here on sale on display is, has been donated by local merchants and by people in the community. And everything that we raise today goes towards Easter Seals. Um, Century 21 is one of the major uh, sponsors of Easter Seals, and each year we try to raise a million dollars uh, as a concerted effort toward Easter Seals. They uh, furnish braces and uh, different things for handicapped people in the community, in this direct community. Everything that we raise here comes back to this locally in Polk County to be used here, and we have a local Easter Seals office in Lakeland, 
and I don't remember the telephone number, but it's on South Florida. Our goal today for our office here is $300. For national uh, Easter seals, it's $1 million.